Hello guys, once again welcome back to my channel, Moodle Arjun. My name is Arjun. So today we are going to see how to add users in Moodle as a single user and also as a bulk user through CSV file. So I have an installation of Moodle 3.10 over here on the screen. As you can see, I'm going to log in as an administrator. And we are going to proceed with the first step, which is adding user one by one. So you go to the site administration. So you need to log in as an admin first. We'll get this interface. This is basically a boost theme. Depending on the themes, what you're using, the interface might get different look. So under the user tab, we have this browse list of users, which is a page which shows all the users into the site, present inside the site. Now there is an option called add a new user. When you click this link, a new page opens as this one. So you need to put a username, a password, and first name, a surname, and an email ID. Basically, username, first name, last name, and email ID are the compulsory fields. Authentication method, we are going to keep it as manual because we are creating a manual user over here. And this is option, generate password and notify user. You can check it if you want the user to notify through the email ID. And also, there is a checkbox called as force password change. So basically, whenever the user gets logged in next time, the system will prompt a password change. So we're just going to uncheck that one. We will put a first name, a last name and an email address. Arjun Singh. And this email ID might not be a valid one. It's just a compulsory field. We are with a Gmail extension we are putting. Remaining all fields are optional, you can fill it or you can just leave it because as an admin we don't know the details of the user. So we just leave it for the user to fill in by himself or herself whenever the next time they log in. This is the user picture. As an admin we can upload it or as the same user when they log in next time they can update all this profile. So I'm just going to show you how does it look like when we upload a user picture. Yeah, these are the additional name, interest, optional fields basically. No need to fill it. We can just skip these parts and we'll just click on the create user button and below. And a new user gets created into the system as Arjun Singh. So when, once you hover on the name, you'll get a link of the profile for this user. Once you click it, it will take you to the user profile view page. So you have preferences, you have login as options, all these user details, you can check it. Now the next step, what we are going to see is how to add multiple users in a single time. That is. A bulk upload we are going to do suppose we have 100 users 200 users we cannot add them one by one it's gonna take a hell lot of time so we are going to just make a actual sheet something and then we'll write all the users list on all the users and then upload it so this is the option when you see click on the bulk upload users link in, inside the user tab we'll come to this page now they have given an example of csv file just for the reference like this is how a csv file looks like the sheet where exactly you are going to put all the user details so they have mentioned username first name last name and email id as a compulsory field so these four fields should be there present otherwise while uploading you might get an error so i'm just going to close this sheet because i have already created uh, my own with some additional fields so I'm gonna open it 
and you see that apart from the username first name last name and email i have added few more fields like uh, password field and a phone number I have added so all the user table fields can be added over here make sure that email ids are unique so there are two users i am i am going to create a student 1 and student 2 into the system now once you are done with the listing of the students you can add as many users here and upload in bulk but this file has to be saved as a csv which will have an extension as .csv so you will see that when I save it file you can put a last name anything so these are the these are not unique fields but username and email IDs are generally unique fields so now I'm gonna save it now save as put a name to this file and the format you have to select as a CSV format like text CSV so generally once it is uploaded it will have a comma separated values so you don't need to worry about that so I'm just gonna keep this file here and go back to the browser where we have to upload the users in bulk now in this page we just need to choose the file where we have created the list of the users open it and then upload this file other fields you have to just keep it as default that will take care by itself when we click on the upload users it will take us to a preview page where it will list on all the users which are going to be created inside the system you can see the below settings sets settings and default values which if you fill or if you select will be applied to all the users above so we'll just keep it as default no need to change anything here this is the preview page basically so system shows that this many users are going to upload it this is not a final upload so in the next screen we can see the users who are going to be uploaded or created or are created inside the system so now we are done user created as two without any errors error is zero and the user status is new users new users that means this users was not there they have been created as a new user under the username under the username you can see like we have the student one and student two with a link to their profile so directly from this page you can go to the profile page and see how does it look like this is how a user profile looks like and now we are done with the user bulk upload as well you can just continue and we'll take back to the same page where you can do more user upload in bulk i hope you like this video if yes then you can just click on the like button below if you have any queries related to the user upload in Moodle website you can just comment that in a comment box and please subscribe to the channel for more Moodle and other technical videos thank you